Welcome to Latest World News. The Islamist group Boko Haram has been accused of killing at least 27 people in attacks on two villages in northeast Nigeria, close to where hundreds of schoolgirls were seized. Gunmen killed 10 people in the village of Shoa and a further 17 in Alagano, police and witnesses said. The area is near Chibok, where the schoolgirls were abducted last month. On Tuesday 118 people died in a double bombing in the central city of Jos, also blamed on Boko Haram. The abductions of more than 200 girls caused international outrage and prompted foreign powers to send military advisers to assist Nigeria's army. The U.S. State Department has condemned the recent spate of attacks. Spokeswoman Jinseki described them as unconscionable terrorist acts and said the U.S. would stand with the Nigerian government and people in their efforts to defeat violent extremism. UK Foreign Secretary William Hague also condemned the attack in Joes, calling it a cowardly, inhumane crime. Northeast Nigeria is vulnerable to attacks because many areas are no go zones for the military and insurgents operate free, correspondents say. The attack on Shoa happened on Monday and that on Alagano on Tuesday but were only reported on Wednesday. Witnesses in Shoa said the gunmen had been on motorcycles. Villagers in Alagano said the suspected Boko Haram fighters had arrived at night, forcing many residents to flee into the bush. The militants left the village some four hours later with stolen food and vehicles. One survivor told the BBC that every building had been torched. In Joes, the search for bodies has been continuing in the rubble left by the twin bombings. The attacks targeted the crowded market and a hospital, and the second blast went off 30 minutes after the first, killing rescue workers who had rushed to the scene. People were using wheelbarrows to move bodies and limbs, eyewitness Jinzini told the BBC. Nigeria's president Good Luck Jonathan condemned the bombings, and said those who carried out the attacks were cruel and evil. The president announced increased measures to tackle the militants including a multinational force around Lake Chad which comprises a battalion each from Chad, Niger, Cameroon and Nigeria.